Hello, this is a tutorial for the falling snow. First, let's remove the cat at the backdrop. Then we are going to add all the sprites. So let's add snowman, snowflake. I want to add two stars and put it on top of the tree. Star. Duplicate. So I'll put one on top here. Change its direction. The other star here. Let's make the snowflake smaller. The snowflake is blue color. By right, it should be white color. So let's go to costumes. Select the whole snowflake. Change its fill color to white. And change its outline to white as well. So now it become white. I'm going to add 2024 as well. Two. Put it on top. I'm going to make it smaller as well. Maybe size 50. Okay, let's arrange it nicer. I'm going to put this to minus 60. 130. Minus 20, 130, 20, 130, 60, 130. If we go to the costumes for the numbers, there's only one color. I want to add a different color so we can see the numbers change color. So duplicate the costume, select the costume and change the fill color. Let's see which color is good. I'm going to change it to red color. I'll do the same for the other numbers. Okay, now let's look at the code for the numbers. I want the numbers to keep changing colors. Go to events. When green flag clicked, I'll do a forever loop. Wait for one second, go to looks, next costume. Now let's try. Okay, number four is changing, so it works. Now this is only for number four. Let's drag the code to the other numbers as well. So all the numbers will have the same code. Okay, let's try. Okay, the numbers are changing colors. Now let's look at the code for snowman. We want the snowman to move around. When green flag clicked, I want the snowman to start from be this location. So minus 30, minus 20. Go to motion, go to. So minus 30, minus 20 is already here. We want the snowman face to the right. So point direction, 90. I want the snowman to turn left and right, not upside down. So we're going to set rotation style left and right. Now the snowman is going to move the right. It's going to repeat 10 times. Every time it's going to move 5 seconds. It will wait for 0 0.3 seconds. Okay, let's try this. It looks okay, except the legs are not moving. So go to the costumes for snowman. There's only one costume. Let's duplicate this. And for the second costume, we are going to lift up this leg and put down this leg. So now let's go back to the code. Every time the snowman moves, we need to change to the next costume. Let's try again. Now the legs are moving. Now the snowman needs to turn back. So go to motion, turn 180 degrees, and it's going to walk again, turn again. So let's drag this code out, duplicate this code, and put it down below. Put it back, try again. So it will move to the right, turn, and move to the left. And we want the snowman to continue moving this way. So we drag it out, 
and we're going to add a forever loop. Put all this code inside the forever loop and put it back. So this way the snowman will continue moving. Now let's look at the code for the snowflake. We want many snowflakes, so we are going to make many clones. When green flag clicked, first we'll hide the snowflake. And we will use a forever loop. Every time we are going to wait for 0 0.03 seconds, I'm going to create a clone of myself. Now when I start as a clone, okay, first we want the snowflakes to be of different sizes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. So go to looks, set size to I'll go to operations, pick a random number from 5 to 10. So we'll set the size of snowflakes to be 5 to 10% of the original size. We want all the snowflakes to start from the top of the screen, but some start from the left, some start from the right. So we'll go to Y will be 180, so the snowflakes are on top of the screen. And for the X, we'll pick a random number from minus 240 to 240. I'll put it here. We have many sprites on the screen. We want the snowflakes to be on the front layer. So go to looks and choose go to front layer. And remember we have hidden the snowflakes. So we need to show it. And for every snowflake, it's going to fall down. But we don't want the snowflakes to fall in a straight line that will look very weird. Instead, we want the snowflakes to swing a little bit in the air. So we will glide for a certain amount of time and we'll go to Y will be 180 with a snowflake touch the bottom of the screen. For the X, we're going to pick a random number from minus 10 to 10. We will add this random number to X position. So I will glide to this X position, Y position. Different snowflakes move at different speed. We'll pick a random amount of time for each snowflake. I'll put 3 to 7 seconds. So put it below. And once it reaches the bottom, we will need to delete this clone. Okay, now let's try. 